Hi guys, this is Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and today I wanted to show you how to edit navigation bar in your Shopify store. So Rock Paper Copy is a Shopify partner. We are Shopify specialists. We also work with Squarespace stores, big commerce stores, Weebly, Wix and EKM. And you can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com. We can help you with website optimization, search engine optimization and marketing. So today I wanted to show you within the, um, the Shopify admin section how to add navigation to your store and how to add um, extra um, subcategories to your navigation because um, with Shopify it is very easy to add a drop-down menu to your uh, to your store so I, I am going to show you how to do it um, right now so if you go to your Shopify this is this is my brand new website so um, so this is like my uh, template um, to work on as well so if you go to your Shopify admin and click on online store, which I already did, and then go down to the navigation, you can see the available menus if you already um, created menus. So I've got few elements from my main menu, which is on the top, and the footer menu as well. And you can add additional items, so drop down menus to your main menu. And I'm going to show you how to do it. There is um, there is a uh, um, there is a link to the guide by Shopify, so you can do it. If you click on it, it opens in a new tab. So you can use those um, um, those guidelines to um, to help you do that along the way. So if I click on the main menu, and I've got um, I've got those top navigations here and if I wanted to add an extra item I would first of all need um, collections I think I do already have got some collections in the store and then I need to remember how those top links in the menu are called so they are called shop about contact and blog so if I um, if I wanted to add for example some collections to the shop menu what I'll need to do I'll need to go back to the navigation and create new menu so add menu and I will mm, name this menu shop which will signal to Shopify that this additional menu will belong to this to this um, main link within the top navigation so I'll show you how it works so if I um, add the menu and then name it shop and then add menu item and then I will add I'll see first of all with what kind of collections I've got so far so I click on um, collection select a collection and I'll add drawstring back so I'll see which collections I've got before putting a name so drawstring bags then when I've got the first one I will click add menu item to add another one and I'll do the same way so I'll click on collection then select another collection so funny packs and I'll call it funny packs and you can do it the same way you can keep adding more and more items so I'm going to click on save menu and I will I will um, preview it in the live shop so if I refresh the website you can see that the drop down sign already appears by the shop and we can see the drawstring bags and funny packs appear here as the um, as the drop down menu so it's very easy as you can see it's very easy to add um, to add drop down navigation to your Shopify store and you can add additional items if you want for example if you've got um, another page you can add a page to your drop down menu it doesn't have to be collection you can add um, extra um, extra other um, elements I don't remember which other elements there were to pick but uh, um, let's have a look so you can add product you can add uh, search page you can add web address if you want to direct people to another website for example if you've got a reference website or a resources website you can you can do it here 
um, or you can basically um, link to all products or all collections which I honestly don't recommend unless you you have um, very very specific niche very narrow niche that you don't need to add extra collections or you don't have enough items to um, to divide it into extra collections then you can add them um, into all collections and then link to that but if you have got variable items that really don't complement each other it's best to divide them into collections and not to and just to um, just to link to separate collections within the top menu I hope I don't overcomplicate things um, so I hope this um, this was helpful if you like this video please click like and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you would like to see another topics covered in the next youtube video please leave the suggestions in the comment box uh, so this was video by Rock Paper Copy. You can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com and also follow us on social media at Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. It's at Rock Paper Copy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.